Hi guys, good morning and welcome to Tech Freaks Info. With the help of this animation, let's learn the difference between an air-cooled engine and a liquid-cooled engine. First, let's identify the components. So uh, that's the cooling fins of an air-cooled engine. So the fins increases the area, the surface area around the engine, which allows the air to pass through and cool the engine and that's a water jacket on a liquid cooled engine so the antifreeze and water passes through the water jacket which cools uh, the liquid cooled engine the air cooled engine employs large cooling fins and outside air to transfer excess heat from the engine as you can see the air is uh, passing through the fins the cooling fins enhances the surface area around the cylinder which enables the heat to transfer from the cylinder to outside air. While in a liquid-cooled engine, coolant is circulated through the water jackets in the engine cylinder block and cylinder hood. You can see the water jackets here in the animation. The coolant accumulates the excess heat from the engine and transfers it away from the engine and cools it. So now let's see the advantages of an air-cooled engine. It's a simple mechanism. Less parts are required. As the air-cooled engine does not need radiator, coolant, water pump, hoses, etc. Because the air is circulating around the fins to cool the engine. And it warms up much faster compared to a liquid-cooled engine. So those are the advantages. And no coolant leaking issues happening because there is no coolant present in the air cooled engine cooling system it's just the air so you've seen the advantages now let's see the disadvantages of an air cooled engine lesser heat transfer compared uh, to the liquid cooled engines higher possibility of overheating is there uh, in an air cooled engine and can also be more expensive to build because of the construction less efficient compared to liquid cooled engines in bigger engines so in bigger engines air cooled engines are not being employed uh, because of inefficiency of the cooling system with air so liquid cooled engines let's see the advantages first one is higher in heat transfer compared to air cooled engines it can take more heat and cool the engine much faster most suitable for bigger engines due to higher heat removal capacity so those are the advantages of a liquid cooled engine now let's see the disadvantages of liquid cooled engine uh, it needs parts like a radiator coolant water pump and hoses etc uh, in a liquid cooled engine and the second one is uh, it's not that efficient for smaller engines compared to uh, air cooled so you can see in bikes etc it's air cooled engines have been employed it's much faster uh, in smaller engines the air cooling system works more faster and efficient uh, so that's a disadvantage of a liquid cooled engine so uh, the third disadvantage is engine cylinder construction is complicated due to the presence of water jackets so you need to build in the water jackets inside the cylinder uh, area uh to make the coolant pass through it so it's a complicated construction so these are the disadvantages of a liquid cooled engine so we believe this tutorial was helpful uh please like comment to motivate us and share with your friends and please subscribe to us for more uh tutorial videos we'll be uploading car and automotive related videos uh, every week and also you can contact us through whatsapp for automotive and car updates Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.